I'm gonna let you know, unless you're using a hammer. Can I use a hammer? <laughs> I, I have, and I've only dented them a little bit. What is up, everyone? My name is Tyler. Today, I'm at Glorious with Shannon, who's also Glorious, and she's going to help me build my very first keyboard because, as some of you may know, I just did a video on a keyboard. And Glorious was like, why don't you come visit us at DreamHack and we'll do it better. So here we are. So Shannon's gonna walk us through the rabbit hole, as she says, and explain to us all of the things that you can do with a mechanical hot swappable keyboard. Exactly, that. So go ahead, Shannon, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Shannon. I obviously work for Glorious. I'm actually in quality, and I break the things before you get them. With that being said, color. Color, color. okay. I think I think I'm feeling black frame. I was gonna say, what is your what is your game my colors? Stage? So my colors are black, orange, and yellow. You Pretty black. much glorious branding. All right. So what you need funny enough, is a black. You said orange. Black, orange, and yeah, the yellow. Oh, oh boy. They're not going anywhere. All right, so you're going to want this. Now, yes. when you type or whenever you're gaming or anything, do you want smooth like butter? Or oh, I want the link switches. I've already played oh, with those. excuse me. I will go get those link switches. <laughs> so Glorious has a bunch of different kinds of switches, and the link switches, after using them a fair bit, I was like, yep, They're those smooth. are the ones. Yeah, Very so can you give it, well, in that case, can you give us a little bit of information on the link switches and why okay. they are the way they are? So a link switch, and these are actually our pre loop switch. I will happily open the box in just a moment. What's great about our link switches is that this is a linear switch, and usually the average of what you're doing. What's great about our link switches, so first of all, you've got a five pin switch. Real quick, down the rabbit hole, most keyboards now are coming with a five pin switch, not a two pin switch. There's that big of a difference, a two There's and a that, five? Yes, because when you have a five pin switch, excuse me, compared to your three pin switch, ah, okay. this actually holds the switch better into the keyboard for more stability. So what's great about these is it's free loop with a dielectric grease and it gives you a very smooth type of typing. This is what's called a linear switch, which means it is straight up and down, right. and it doesn't have a tactile bump, which causes a resistance. Okay, so that was my biggest question, because I was torn between the pandas and the links, and I couldn't exactly understand. I had a feeling that the tactile, that's what that meant. That's what but that meant. you confirming that makes a lot more sense to me. So. And then you also have two other type of switches, which would be a box switch, and then you can't forget you have a clicky switch. Is it officially called a clicky switch? Yes, it is. Okay, see, I've always wondered that because I think that's just like the inherent thing that you call, you're like, oh, it's a, it's clicky, a clicky switch. switch. Oh no, they're clicky. Okay. They're very clicky. So this would be your pro. Wow. Now, one of the great things about our boxes is this top foam, and everyone's like, wow, that's a lot of foam. What's great about this is that you will go down the rabbit hole, as we're calling it, and that you want to be able to build, change, do whatever you want and customize this board. See this top foam? It's great for your board because why? It's like a workbench. It is a workbench because you have the knob. That's amazing. Oh, I love the knob, by the way. The knob is my know. favorite thing. Well, and now here comes the rabbit hole. Did you want brass plate? Do you want original aluminum plate? Or did you want a polycarbonate plate? Brass plate sounds really cool. Brass plate sounds sweet? Yes. Okay. So I don't know what the difference is. I just know polycarbonate's more of like a high quality plastic. Brass is, is brass. But I feel like my color is what I like. Brass is kind of... And you're of right. So now the brass plate is going to give you a different sound. When oh. you type with the brass, because it's a metal. So you're going right. to get a little bit more tangy out of it. It's also going to make okay. your board heavier. But it does look mighty nice. Let's go with the brass. A brass plate. Let's okay. So what we're going to do is, while well, someone is going to be kind enough to get us a brass plate, we're going to go ahead and take this board apart. Can we get just a detail on this? Yeah, why you're get, why you're looking for the screwdriver? I, got I just it. want people to understand, like the level, like this is fully CNC aluminum, which is like it's like yes. a block of aluminum that has gone and they have cut in the glorious. And then there's really no other word to describe it than than glorious. So the embossing. I was, yeah, I was blown away at like the way that this was crafted. As soon as I picked one up, I was like. That it's is very, it's wild for a keyboard. Yeah. So. so what's great about these is you can tell it's a high quality board. It's full aluminum. You right. can't beat that. It's around a five pound, five pound board. 
and which is funny because that's like the opposite of a mouse right like you want is. a mouse want, to be super lightweight polycarbonate or whatever but for a keyboard having that weight is they almost, want the weight it's weird yep and that's even for me personally coming from a keyboard with a with an aluminum top plate, yep but not necessarily you know plastic bottom plate plastic bottom and it's you know what's going to be on it and it flexes like if you grab it and you it twist it enough it'll flex yes. and you can hear it creak and it won't do this yeah, well, yeah i would hope not my no. goodness you'd have you're to be like gonna, super strong you're going to feel a difference typing with this I, yeah, you I, would I mean, it's so. a beast. It is, and this is the most fancy keyboard I've ever had, so. You will be very, 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 very happy with this keyboard. And the other thing, too, I want to emphasize that I think is interesting is I, I've always wanted to build a keyboard, but I think it's so, like, scary and, and daunting to get into, like, doing the whole rabbit hole thing, and I think this this kit, when it was described to me, made a lot of sense because yeah. it's, it's not too hard like if you know how to use a screwdriver and you know how to you know look up a YouTube video or whatever I'm sure this it's is a, not that hard no it's not it's but a great satisfying, right? yeah it's a great beginner board because what's wonderful about the beginner board is that it's not as if I had a board that I had sent to me and I actually spoke with someone who is a keyboard enthusiast and expert and I contacted them and said it took me all weekend to build this board what did I do wrong they said it took me the whole, he goes, it took me a week to build the board. And this is from a keyboard enthusiast. Right. And this is coming from something that didn't have a guy. It didn't have any videos to say, hey, oh, this is how you want to build it. I literally had to put down this very expensive keyboard and walk away from it because I was that aggravated. Wow. This does not do that. This comes to you and you're just like amazed. Now we're taking this a little step further for you. Okay. Usually what you could do is that when you buy these boards, all you have to do is put the switches in and you're golden, you right. can go. But we're swapping out But we're out gonna do place. some swap outs and we're gonna do some And I changing. like that, because I wanna see all the yep. internals. Because like this plate, for example, is like insane. The oh, the aluminum just, top frame, isn't yeah, it great? That is so cool. And then that's where your, you know, your RGB sticks yep. out through there. And then the here, so now just to give you a little bit of heads up, you do have different size screws for the GMMK Pro, so we usually keep them separate. Okay. I'm gonna let you know that when you go home to go do this, you're gonna want a magnetic, little magnetic Yeah, a little dish, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you just put them on the side. This, I know, is already for the top frame. Understood. And these okay. are going to be for the center, and these also have another gasket that secures the center. Okay, and how important is that gasket? It's only important, to be honest with you, if you want a, more stability, it keeps from the board doing too much flex. Okay. But what's also, it's actually very good for, is the polycarbonate plate. With I actually see. the aluminum. Oh, and there's a layer of foam in here too. There's two layers of foam. Really? So what is, is, is the foam serve as that sort of, like what does the foam serve as? So the case? foam like is a dampener? actually a dampener. Okay. Because you actually have, and we're gonna show you in a minute, you have two foams in here. Okay. This is your bottom case foam. Yep. And this is this is how solid this bottom case is. Yeah, that is. Insane. Feel the weight just of just the bottom case. Oh my god. Yeah, because you can see it. This is solid. This is not hollow. Like the way no. that it angles like that, the whole thing is. I don't know if you can hear that, but a little, little bit. It's it is solid. Like you could hurt somebody with this. See how we have our little yeah. anchor, or yep. you said your workstation, which is. I'm going to steal that, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So, the only thing here is the same thing. So now here, like I keep going to let you know, they are different size screws. screws. Okay. Now, so, does this, now, with if someone were to get this kit, does it come with a set of, not instructions necessarily, we but have them online. a guide? Okay. Got it. So now and I love the black PCB, like, PCB, too. I don't know what it is about, like, you don't necessarily always see a PCB, yeah, but, like, when yeah. you do, it yeah. looks really pretty. Yeah. So I do appreciate that. It reminds me of the Macs. All the Macs have black PCBs, which yeah. is really pretty. So. And our whites have white PCBs. Do they really? Yep. See, that's the level of detail that you get in something like this, where you're not going to get that in just any ordinary keyboard. And you're probably wondering, well, why does that matter? Well, if you're an enthusiast, that's what this is designed to be. This is an enthusiast kind of keyboard. So if you're someone like me who's been doing this a very long time and you want an enthusiast level board to go with your enthusiast level system, you want this yes. level of detail because 
that's just what it's about. It also so. goes with, it's going to sound strange, but it also goes for the RGB. Oh, really? If you have really? a, white, a white board, it's going to reflect more it's light. It's going to reflect more light. If you want a darker board and you want that more nice, muted smooth, like aura, yeah. yep. then you go with the darker board. As in our pink boards actually have white PCBs. I was going to say, yeah. So the, the pink boards have white PCBs. Mm -hmm. Got it. The same, I swear we're almost there. So many screws. So many screws, I know. But that's well, good, right? Because the screws is. help give it that, you know. It gives it its stability. So oh, now, wow, so there is another piece of foam. Yep. There's one like, more piece of foam. Can we just appreciate that the... Yeah, and oh, it's, it, it is connected okay. here. So but, that when you take it off, it's not going to have an issue. And it's okay to take this off. It doesn't okay. cause damage. There we go. Wow. Look at the way that that's cut. Like, it's so... <laughs> that's insane. And it's cut to be just right and just perfect. Right. So now you have your aluminum plate. Okay. We're not going to be using your aluminum plate. Aluminium. We're going to put this over here. Now what's really neat about the brass plate is that we actually don't need to use all those screws if we don't want to. Really? You can actually do it where, because the brass plate is solid. Ah, okay. That makes sense. Oh, wow. I do like See, that's exactly my style right there. Or actually, I'll wait for you to take it out. No, go ahead. It's your brass plate. I know. I'm just like watching. I know this is supposed to be like me building it, but I'm just, I'm just fun watching. So I'm gonna sit this here. Wow, I've never I've never done an unboxing live at an event before, but I need you guys just to appreciate how beautiful that is and how cool. This is solid brass. This so, is not. This so is it's not, not a, brass. It's not just like brass not, color. It's no, that's brass. solid brass. Wow. Who would have thought? That is insane. Right. All right. What are we doing next? All right. So now. What we're going to do here, see this is why you needed the foam. Right, so foam goes now, back in. Yep, now I am going to tell you this, there's a little bit of a trick that I did here. All right. Because when you want to put the plate back together, you're going to try, you're going to go, oh, how am I going to put this back together without having my light strips fall off? Yes. Now, your light strips do go on. A certain way? A certain way, and you can feel it. Actually, if you try to so put them wrong, I was say, do they only go on one way? They only right? go on one way. So the best way in from I have found that this works is that if you take put everything together and it all matches up. It all lines up. If you take a look, you can't put the foam on them. Right. You, it, same thing. It same only goes things. on one it way. only goes on one way. Now all because I have the knobs. Yep. So now what I do, I will hold one side. Okay. And I'll just anchor one side of the light switch. Or excuse me, the light. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the black with this to keep the black aesthetic. Sure. But this does come with its own set of screws. Oh, the silver. I saw the, the, yep, the, the silver. silver ones there. Yeah, I like the black better. The black goes with the aesthetic of the board. Perfect. And that's yeah. my opinion. No, I agree. I'm 100% in agreement on that one. Now, see, look, that look decided to come out on me. But that's okay, because now I'm just going to pinch it again. I hold it together. Now, is there a click or anything, or is it just screwing in? So it's you just screwing shouldn't in. Shouldn't be expecting a click or a snap. No, okay. you can feel. If you feel the snap, it just means it's settling in. Okay, but, but don't clamp. You're not looking to clamp it. You together. don't need to. Okay. And that's. There you go. Wow. So now everything's anchored for you. Yep. And you can you just finish putting the board back together. Just, it's that easy, guys. She's making it look a thousand times easier, I guarantee you. So I'm glad that we're doing this now, because if I do this again later by myself, we'll see how well I did, and she's going to grill me if I don't do it right. Just That's what's gonna video. happen. Yeah, she's just gonna watch. You're gonna, gonna rewatch the video. Yeah. A billion times, yes. A million, a <laughs> this is actually now turning into how to build a keyboard with Shannon from Glorious, and I'm watching. That's what it is. I totally took over, I'm sorry. No, you should take over. That's exactly what I wanted it to be because I don't know what I'm doing. This video would be like we 10 times. We don't have all day we, to yeah, watch see, me build. He's like, we don't have all day to watch me build. We need a pro to build it. That's the point. <laughs> all right, so here's the next part, putting in those center gaskets. This is how I find it to be easiest. You just put the gasket in, I hold it. Is there a label for where the gaskets go? Or you I know you know. Hole. Oh, is it like a square hole? There's a square hole. I see. So the gaskets fit right back into there. They only go in one way, They right? only go in one see? way. There's a, there's a theme to this. And then you put the screw right here, and it'll anchor itself. And the best part, boom, boom, boom. Wow. And as soon as you feel it stop, that's it. You so don't need to over no tight, tighten. Yeah, there's no like, don't wrench you it don't, down you in there. No, don't wrench it down. As soon as it's literally hand tight and that's it. 
There we go. That's it. That's all you do. So now, you're going to want to build your board. Yes. So, you put your phone back in, you see the same thing. The wire goes, only goes one way. It only goes in one way. If there's way. anything you take away from this video, it only, only goes, goes one, one way. way. Don't force it. No. Or else, Shannon will come for you. You don't no. want that. No, I won't do that. She doesn't bad. just break keyboards, she breaks people. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. She's actually very nice. Obviously, she's building my keyboard. In the middle of this chaos, which is DreamHack Dallas, by the way. Yes. And I usually have a better time with this when I don't have it slipping. So okay. you want to make sure when you're putting the cable back in, because you didn't have to do a full unplug. As you can see, I'm holding it upright. I found that it's easier just to pinch it this way. But when you go to close this, you just slightly put your hand in here, and you make sure that cable is lying flat. I don't think you're going to be able to see that. You'll get the idea, I think. Yeah. You just make sure it lays flat. And you can feel that. You can feel it shift into place. Yeah. And that's it. So now, we're going to do this. I never thought I would use a switch puller this way. It kind of, I immediately looked it, at it and I was like, that looks like it would work. It would work. It does work. Because I'm used to a lot different of a setup. I was going to say, yeah, I imagine yeah. your setup's a little more. It's a little efficient. different. It's a little All different. All your torture devices in front of the keyboards, right? Yes. Yeah. But if the keyboard goes to your office, it's scary. But well, they have to go to my office. Right, so it's like going to the principal's office. Like It's worse. Wait, where did you go? That's my last box. This is the last box of the Celestial the Fire? Yeah, this is the last box. Ooh, would that look good on it, the yellow, you think? I know, well, because I built it already. Okay. I've already built this. I will, I'm not trying to do this anymore, but this is the last box. I didn't even add to What do we else. think? What do we think? Do we do we go with the Celestial Fire? It's not a live broadcast, so they can't. They don't get to dictate. Oh, sweet. I, I am voting for these guys. These are Now that she favorite. knows it's not live, she's like, okay, now is the real content. No, these are my favorite. They're your favorite. They okay. are. Well, I trust you. Let's do that. Okay, so here's the board thus far. That's actually pretty sweet, a right? dream keyboard for me right now. It is. Now. And this brass is, it is so sweet. No one else is going to have this keyboard. No. And I think the blue from the Lynx switches you are going to look so cool. It will. Yeah. Actually, you might have a job to do. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh boy. I might make you put the switches in. Oh boy. That sound that sounds dangerous. But it's I think not. I can do it. I think I can do it. I think you can too. Remember, okay. so it high looks pin. Easy. Yes. So you're gonna laugh. I have a trick on how I put switches in the pro. Okay. Because you see how the switches see how the switch yeah. is? There's a little gap. There's, I see the gap. This is the bottom of the switch. The gap. As in when you're looking at it, the gap. Okay, gap. So and this is a five pin switch. I feel, and I can feel where the gap is, and I know that's exactly because of our north here. facing. Right. All right, now remember, you're gonna go one all the way over, and then do it like an S. All the way over and do an S? Yeah, well, actually, that's how you put it. I found the best way to put the board together. Oh boy, I'm just being so ginger with this. That's okay. There's sticker? Oh, shoot. You didn't see the stickers? No, I didn't know there were stickers. I just There's got stickers. a Pelican case for stickers. That's why I bought a Pelican. That's why I even have this job. So I could just have a Pelican case for a good there reason. There's stickers. Bam. We're ready. Look well, at guess that. what? Wow. Right? And now, wait till you see how sweet these are. But I'm going to let you know, unless you're using a hammer. Can I use a hammer? <laughs> I, I have, and I've only dented them a little bit. Really? Yes. That was one of the pressure tests. Now, we are going to do Bam. the standard pro. You have delete. Yep. Which we like. Page up. Page up. Page down. All right. And then end. That is our standard. And now we're ending. That's I'm just it. gonna stick to the cheesy theme because you know it's it just... is cheesies. Wow. This is. That's it. Wild. Oh, I've got... I don't know yeah. if you can hear that. You can see a little bit of the link switches peeking through there. You get in the in the bronze in the in the bronze or the uh, brass. brass. Yep. I knew it was one of them. <laughs> one of the bees. One of the bees. Because this is the bees knees. Now I do have one other question for you. Okay. Did you want to do a coiled cable on additionally with that? Of course. How am I going to come this far and not build coiled cable? You want me to trade with you? Oh wait, no, you no! I, I am a, you can a do big this. kid now. I can do this. I know. I have faith. You can do this. And now I can't get this one off. 
Oh, that's a race now. It oh, is. I'm winning. I'm winning. You're done. He is. He's You're gonna done. Win. And this is just GG. a wrap around. I win. I'm the best keyboard builder on the planet. Yeah, but guess what? You're Same. not done. I'm, apparently, I'm never done. No, watch. I only made it back. No, but. But he's not done yet. He still doesn't realize there's another part on it. There's another part? Uh huh. Oh, boy. I can't believe I can't get this off. Winning. He still hasn't won yet. Yes, I have. No, you haven't. There's still a part on it. Right, but I've done the part that we agreed. I mean, I don't have a PC to play it, so I guess I haven't won it. That is the last part. I can't believe it took this long. I can't believe I'm still fighting with it. Unbelievable. Keyboard professional. Who's losing to plastic? What? Hey, well, you must have QA designed the plastic too, because that doesn't come oh, off. Oh, I did. Oh, so, I did. Ooh, that's the fancy. Yeah. That's a real fancy. Character. It is. Very nice aviator cable. This is crazy oh, how I yep. tight that is. Yep. You can stretch it. You can have it yeah, sitting how you like. But that will be your setup. Janet, thank you so much You're for welcome. helping me build this keyboard. Glorious PC is fantastic. Thank, thank. Yeah, I can't even speak. I've been here way too long. Thank you, Glorious, for having me come and build my wonderful keyboard. And yeah, make sure to subscribe and stuff and the things. I'm forgetting all of them, but that's it. A lot of caffeine today. Have way too much caffeine. Way too today. much caffeine. This was awesome. Thank you so much. You are welcome. I Good am... job. I did it. I did it.